Today is Monday. We have been going non-stop and we really need a break. So, we slept in today. Just had a really nice breakfast. We're gonna go to Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds because that's one of Wendy's must-do things while we're out here. I just talked with one of the maintenance guys. They're getting things ready for a big festival this weekend. I think we're here at a good time for us because it's plenty of parking. Not very many people right now. It's a beautiful day. This place is bigger than I thought. I thought it was just a seed store, but it's like this whole village of cute little buildings and restaurant and gardens. A whole bunch of greenhouses. Let's do the seed store first. <laughs> but your other net. That's an amazing yeah. first time here. Yeah, other than that, film away. Okay, so thank you. I don't want to end up on Facebook. <laughs> I don't either, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> he follows me around with it. <laughs> The selection is very impressive.
I don't think I've seen as many butterflies if we're actually in an enclosed space with closed doors for butterflies. Some place like this, you wouldn't want your chickens free ranging. Yeah. I like how tall they are because I could walk under them. I don't. I don't think we're growing up there. What am I supposed to do? You can have me, no. Have me pick them for you. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I like being able to fit under the raised uh, arches. These are really pretty windy. Mm -hmm. Check these out. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. They're those bitter melons. Okay. Yeah, I do wonder if you put something like these around your garden and then just let the chickens into certain spaces. So, so like I'm, a chicken run that you just open up occasionally to... Well, I'm thinking about maybe having small little fenced-in garden areas with chickens around it so that when I want to clear it out, I just release the chickens and let them do it and then maybe let goats in here for a day to finish. that mine don't grow as well. This is what it should look like. Look out for that spider, Wendy. I know. It's a giant spider. That is a big spider. Um, yeah, I'm not as close to it as it probably looked in the video. But this is what the trellis arch should look like really soon after, you plant, after it starts to get going. And mine take all summer and then they just die as soon as they get good. So. Salvia. Look at these things. These are celosias. They don't look very strong now. They need to vary and definitely. Looks familiar. See the yard hydrant hooked up with all the hoses? Yep. Does that make you feel better about how I do things? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what I'm doing and how loud they are. I just wanted to take a closer look at this little log cabin structure here. I really like the look of them. Nice fish pond. Nice big bowls. 
I hope you found that glorious garden stroll at Baker Creek relaxing. Back here, our garden at Ivy Acres has seen better days. We really had not been eating or sleeping well on this marathon search for our forever homestead. We needed a day off. I think Wendy got some good ideas for the future garden. Eros needed a day off too. So we went to another nearby park. Eros, are you gonna enjoy this water on this hot day? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good boy. You get it. <laughs> get right into the slimy Come part. Come here. Come back. Yeah, you're swimming. Come here. No. <laughs> I can't stop. These flashes, where are they coming from? Come here, Eros. Don't hear myself talking. Drag them out. Eros, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on, good boy. Yes. Oh, oh he got out of breath. Come here. Yes, now you feel good, huh? Take off. We've been talking and texting with real estate agents today, so I guess it's not technically a day off from the house search, but we're taking better care of ourselves. How do you feel, Wendy? My stomach's upset. It's been a hard week so far, right? Yeah. I'm tired and I don't want a camera in my face. <laughs>